to the channel welcome back to another episode of one pedal and three amps where we take one pedal one classic drive pedal and we put it into three different amps which is a, a valve amp a solid state transistor amp uh, and an amp modeler today we are using the Strymon Iridium as the modeler we are using the Boss Katana Artist behind me there as a uh, transistor slash solid state amp and today we are using this glorious Marshall Astoria as our valve amp. It is uh, single-ended and uh, it's a bit of a beast and I like it a lot. So uh, this is the MXR Distortion Plus. There are a lot of these in circulation. A lot of you have them, a lot of you love them. Uh, for those of you that are looking at buying an MXR Distortion Plus, hopefully this video uh, helps you decide if you're gonna buy it or not. Um, but you can hopefully get to uh, have a listen to it through whatever style of amp or modeler you are using. So, here are our clean tones. Uh, I am on the Marshall setting on the Iridium. This is the Iridium first. <laughs> This is the katana. And this is the Marshall Astoria. All right, let's turn it on now. I've got it, um, I've got the distortion at about 12 o'clock. And I've got the output at almost three o'clock because that is about unity, believe it or not. Which is unusual, but that's the way MXR roll. I've got uh, a, um, a Dynacomp, MXR Dynacomp, which is exactly the same. It has virtually no volume boost on tap at all. So here we go. This is the uh, Iridium first. <laughs> Base there, that's pretty awesome. All right, this is the katana. really nice here in the studio. Hopefully it's uh, coming across to you if you've got headphones on, it sounds that lovely as well. Uh, and this is the Marshall Astoria. Which is getting its reverb from the Waza Tube Amp Expander. Turn the distortion all the way up now. Uh, this is the Strymon Iridium. <laughs> This is the 
Marshall Astoria. <laughs> can actually hear a bit of a hiss from somewhere and a bit of buzz and noise which is not a surprise considering I've got the uh, distortion all the way up but anyway This time, I'm going to wind the distortion down and put the input up all the way up and see what happens. This is the Katana first, I mean this is the Iridium first. <laughs> to hear what happens with the headphones on but to here in the studio it doesn't sound like it's doing much this is the katana <laughs> here in the studio I can't tell I won't be able to tell properly until I actually edit it but from what I can hear in the studio you actually need to have the distortion up a bit just to get a bit of hair on it so um, which is really interesting I thought it would have a lot more um, output gain than that but like the Dynacomp it also doesn't have much output gain at all <laughs> So it looks like it's going to be a pretty short video this time, but uh, it's only got two knobs, so I can't show you all the different tone options because there aren't any. So I'm just going to dime everything. This is up full. Everything is up as full as I can get it. And uh, this is the Iridium first. <laughs> two knobs are sort of connected so you, you really need a lot of distortion up to get more volume out of it but either way this is the Astoria <laughs> that sounds amazing here <laughs> Uh, distortion plus through a valve amp, a solid state amp, and into the Strymon Iridium, which is uh, being our amp simulator for today. Uh, I hope you found that. There is a mosquito in here. I hope you found that uh, enjoyable and educational. Hope you found that enjoyable and educational. And uh, if you're looking to buy it, hopefully it's. Um, 
that sort of helped point you in the right direction to see if it'll work for you. But it is a great sounding pedal, and it's actually pretty small. It's, a, it's only a bit smaller than a standard Boss pedal, which is always a nice surprise. So, uh, If you've got this far, thanks for watching all this way. Um, it helps in the algorithm, and so does liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. So if you uh, can find it in your heart to do that, that'll be awesome. It helps the channel out a lot in the uh, mysterious YouTube algorithm. So uh, thanks again for watching. Give us a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.